But this is going to be the base. Stain we use espresso. All right. So now we're applying the stain on a second coat of stain. See the white? That's not wood. That's glue. That's the wood glue I used earlier. Make sure. I mean, all the glue is, is gone before you start the staining process. All right. About to start the uh, polyurethane process. You can already start seeing a nice reflection. We're gonna do one more coat of this after this dries 10 hours later. See the first coat, what you'll notice is it's real rough. They say to uh, sand it down with 220 or stronger grip paper. And then apply the second coat. Sanding is complete, the second coat. Silicone uh, caulking creates some type of design just to try to create a decorative edge. Well, this is the end result. It's uh, very rubbery, very soft. This stuff uh, stank, smells too. So you want to uh, do this method, I suggest you do it outside. Got the uh, malamine. It doesn't wick any of the water away from the away from the concrete, so that's why it's used a lot. It gives also gives a flat, a, a, a extremely flat surface. One and five eighths screw. It's gonna sink in about that much. All right, this is the finished form. I got it. As you can see, I got one, two screws. Hold each side in. I probably should have put three, maybe four on this side, but got a screw going in. Beak on that end, on all the ends. It's, uh, caulking. I forgot. I almost forgot this step. You want to just put a bead one. Beep. By uh, five feet. Okay, so this is the end result. Uh, we're gonna slide the black plastic up under this, and then we're gonna pour some concrete. <laughs> we're we gonna do the uh, 80 pound bag. These motherfuckers are heavy. I'm gonna mix it in according to the directions of the cement, I mean the concrete, a quart per every 20 pounds of water. Yeah, then he flips it upside down. Let's do it. Flip it upside down. Take that off slowly. Uh, all purpose mix in one quart up to the brim. First, add this to it. We put some more water with this. Should have just did a little bit at a time and kept one. Okay, we're gonna do four of these. Uh, I need your help earlier. Too late, cat. Oscar, get out of here. We got four of these bags to do. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna mix them up, toss them in there, and keep them moving. Bag number two. Ah, this shit is heavy. This shit is heavy. <laughs> Third bag. Make sure you work it into the edges real nice and tight, so it can pick up that design you try to you trying to achieve. If you got a, a special edge, which we do. And then what we're going to do is take this 2x4 over here and uh, we're going to screed the, the top, as they say. Maybe we'll try that now. Don't need to do another bag. We ain't put too much color in this one. All right, let's do this. You screed it, you start it from that end and you just shake it 
And if you notice, you can see where it's not even. And when you get to the end, keep coming. When you get to the end, you take some of that that fell off and you put it in the areas where it's low. But keep in mind, we plan on flipping this anyway, so uh, we, def we definitely want it to be even, but if we was doing a uh, pouring place, this would be a crucial part to make sure that the uh, the uh, concrete is even. We probably should have done a pouring place. Maybe on the next project, if we attempt this again, we'll do a pouring place. This is the next morning. You see the trial marks in it. We didn't. I didn't come. We did this so late at night. Look at my floor is all messed up. Let you guys know this is very messy. Very messy. Forgot to put the rebar. Bought the rebar. Forgot to put the rebar in here. But what can you do? Hopefully that won't be a major issue. It's only been about three days. I'm hoping it's hard enough to withstand a flip. All right, we just flipped it. Few, few little holes. Very smooth. A lot of little black lines from the uh, from the black caulk. I gotta get that removed. 60 grit sandpaper. Removing it. This is the paste I mixed up. I'm hoping that's actually what I really want to do is just to fill in these areas. And try to build up a layer over this where I expose too much of the aggregate. Apply the coat of the you know, shifted concrete on there. Nice thin coat to go over it. Once it hardens, sand it down. Get light sanding, very light. Brush it down. And if we gotta do another coat, then we gotta do another coat. Alright, this is the day after. Nice and smooth. Couldn't feel a lot of the holes. And then decided not to even fill the holes that uh, we're just going to go with the way it looks with the, with this type of texture and look gives. What I'm going to do is uh, use this two part epoxy. It's a. Uh, High gloss finish, pouring epoxy. Yeah. We gotta pour this in there and mix it for six minutes. I'm gonna put the B in there, pour A into B. It just look real nice. Really brought off that uh, natural cut stone look, very rough cut look that I was able to achieve with the uh, caulking. I don't know why they sell that, uh, the most edge forms for so much money, but. I didn't need them. I don't know if you guys are going to use my method of theirs, but have fun with it if it's just a personal project like mine. Yeah, a few little imperfections, but... So this is what the finished product looked like. This is about maybe eight months later. Again, I'm not a professional. This is just something I put together. Let me know how you guys like it. Please leave uh, questions or comments.